Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. I want my audience to know I have the opportunity uh, to talk to Phil Dwyer, and he is a turf scientist for Scott. Didn't know they had such a thing as a turf scientist, but I'm learning something new every day. And horticulturist at Miracle Grow, Amy Enfield. And they're here to talk about some tips of what you need to do right now to make sure your lawn and garden look great through the summer. I thank you guys so very much for being here because this is such an important topic. Let me tell you, I didn't know people were so Im- Im- uh, just impressed with their lawn until I said you guys were coming last week. Yeah, we are uh, glad to be able to talk to your listeners. And yes, there is a whole country of lawn and garden enthusiasts. And that's what we build our entire business on, helping them, providing easy to use solutions um, for their lawn and garden needs. Okay, Phil, I'll start with you. And then I'll go to Amy. What are the things we should be doing right now to get our lawn and garden looking its best for the year? Now, keep in mind, I'm broadcasting out of Texas nationwide, but the Texas people are my highest audience, and you know we have hot sun in Texas. Yeah, so in Texas specifically, if you have a St. Augustine grass lawn, um, I like to fertilize that right now to keep it growing well, to keep it healthy in the summer months ahead. So by feeding, well, you see the results on the top. You see a greener lawn, you see thicker lawn, but what's happening also is you are growing deeper, thicker roots. And those roots are able to access more rain, access more moisture so that you have to irrigate uh, less. You can go longer times between watering there if you have an irrigation system. But we usually let Mother Nature um, take care of most of our uh, our watering there. Also, um, the, in the Texas market, you're going to have some fire ants, I'm sure. And so a product like our triple action for southern lawns, it, it controls the dollar weed and it also controls your uh, your fire ants. So great, uh, great combination, easy to use um, on those uh, Texas lawns. Okay, I'm going to uh, ask you, Amy, you know, um, over the pandemic, people were cooking, making bread, stuff they hadn't done, but they were really paying attention to their lawn. So what are some of the tips that you can offer them to start planting their garden this year? So we want to make sure that all those new gardeners stay engaged and actually have success because we know that if you have a bad experience, it makes you hesitant to keep doing it. Um, So while parts of the country are just starting to plant, there's other parts of the country like the Dallas area that you've been planting for months now. Um, So there's kind of different tips depending on where you are, but there's a couple important things that I can pass along that are really good for any gardener. And one is to make sure that you're putting the right plant in the right place. So know how much sunlight different areas of your yard are getting and making sure that wherever you put your garden, you know how much sunlight that gets and get plants that will work in that sunlight. Don't try to do the opposite. Um, That's the one big key to success. And the second is if you are still planting, make sure that you build a great soil foundation. Miracle Grow has a full line of soil products for in ground raised beds and containers. So it doesn't matter what gardening project you do or where you're doing it, there's a soil that will work for that project. And then last is make sure that you feed. So if you've had plants in the ground for several months now, they've started to grow and deplete uh, deplete the nutrients out of that soil. And if you don't replenish those nutrients throughout the growing season, you're not gonna be as successful with your plants. So make sure you select a plant food. There's great slow release out there that work for three to six months. And then there's the water soluble that you put down every one to two weeks. And so select one that's tailored to the plants you're growing. And so you replenish those nutrients. So you get those beautiful flowers all season long and that bountiful harvest. In the Texas market specifically, I'm going to give you one final tip, and it's mulch. If you have not done it yet, go out and put mulch around your garden beds, in your raised beds, even around your containers, because that will help keep moisture in the soil longer so that the water you do put down, you don't lose it to evaporation. 
Great, great tip. And my audience listens to me on a multitude of platforms, and I've got this one for you, Amy. They say that they want to plant a herb garden, but they're late putting it in. Is it too late to start in Texas? No, it is not too late to start an herb garden. Uh, this is actually a really good time to actually add herbs into the garden, maybe if you forgot, because a lot of these herbs are native to Mediterranean climate, so they're used to it hot and dry. So you can add the rosemary, add your thyme. Um, you can even start basil now. So no, herbs is a great thing to start right now, or a lot of, it might be too late to put a tomato in. Herbs are a great thing to add still. Thank you so much, Amy, and I'm sure I got a happy listener. Okay. <laughs> So, Phil, I'm going to wrap up with you. Uh, this one comes from Instagram. They say they bought a new home. It's late in the season, and it has the ugliest grass on the block, <laughs> or hardly any grass. Uh, what can they do to, to try and make it look better? Yeah, the, the reason, the number one reason why someone has an ugly, weedy lawn is feeding. They're not fertilizing properly or enough. And so I tell people, if you want a nice lawn, you feed uh, twice a year, once in the spring, once in the, if you're in Texas, late, uh, late summer before the fall. If you want a fantastic, beautiful lawn, if we want to change that lawn um, from the ugliest one to the most beautiful, feed four times in a year. Um, space that out about every six weeks apart, and you will give the turf the nutrition it needs to fill in and look great because a lot of those new lawns, um, maybe they came in from grass seed or they were sodded and you know, you're a new homeowner and you're filling the inside of your home. You're not thinking about the outside, but proper nutrition, um, just like with our, uh, our garden plants and our, our flowers and ornamentals, lawns need nutrition to thrive, to be thick and to stand up to play and use. I mean, that's why we have lawns to get out there and play and enjoy them. Bill and Amy, you guys are a hit, especially on my social media side. But they have more questions than I have time. So where do you send them, Phil, online? We want all the questions possible, and I think we've answered most of them with video content that we've created, educational tools and, and know-how um, at scotts.com for your lawn questions and miraclegrow.com for all of your, lawn, your garden questions there and flowers. And if your viewers go there right now, Backyard30 is the promo code to save 30% on anything they order. I got to go there. I need mulch. I want to thank you and Amy for stopping by and talking about something that's near and dear to more people than I thought. And have a great day. You too. You too. Bye, Valder. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, 